Hello there, my angels. How are you today? I hope you're doing amazingly well. I have some new awareness I want to share with you. I went up on the mountaintop on my little special overlook that I love over here in Las Vegas. It's, it's you know, beautiful up there. I may live in the desert, but at this time of year, there's snow up there and the overlook is just gorgeous. And I needed some God time, some tranquil time. So I thought I'm going to go up there. I'm going to listen to the music that I want. I'm going to get quiet and I'm going to take my journal, which everyone should have one. And if us women, we love pretty journals with pretty pictures on them. And if you're like me, you like pretty little markers and all kinds of colors. Because I'm a creative genius, that's what I do. And the more colorful and wonderful it is, the more yummy it is, right? Okay, so if you're focusing on that one thing you don't have, this is the best exercise for you. It's the best soulful exercise you can do. If you're focusing on that one thing you don't have, or maybe it's two or three things, but your whole day, every day, you just keep thinking about, I need this, I need this, I have to have this, I have to have this, I don't have this yet, I don't have this yet. You can hear the little chatter in the back of your mind telling you, oh man, if we just get this one thing, everything will be okay. I don't dare be happy today. Oh God, no. Because there's this over here is telling me I can't be happy today. This is the reason, this chatter, this backlash bullshit in the back of your mind is telling you, oh, if, if only we had this one thing, it could be money. It could be a relationship. It could be... Off. I just need to lose these 10 pounds and then everything's going to be great. Once my body looks bomb ass, everything's going to be awesome. But until then, don't be happy. Oh no, because we still need this one little thing that's chattering in the back of your mind. So I got sick of that one thing chattering in the back of my fucking mind. It was driving me crazy. I'm like, Carrie, look around you. Look at all that you have. So I thought, okay, God, I hear you. I'm going to go up on this mountain and I'm going to do a little exercise and it's an amazing exercise and I highly suggest you do it. It's not the barbell kind of exercise. It's the kind of exercise that requires a journal and some fun markers. If you don't do fun markers, you're cool. It's all good. So I got up there. I got quiet. I was looking at this beautiful scenery all around me. My heart just expanded. I was like, wow. <laughs> Holy cow, look at all this that I have at my fingertips. And I started to write in my journal in hot pink, of course, because hot pink's fun. And I started to write everything I'm abundant in. And it was overwhelming. In fact, you can see I just kept going and I started with the list and then I had to keep adding on to the list and just kept going and going and going. And I just gave up because I ran out of room. I was going to start to write on the side. I thought, no, this is just getting messy. I was just going to do one page, but I could have kept going. I could have filled this book. Things from knowledge, the opportunity of the things I have to do around Vegas, my looks, my vitality. I can jump out of bed every day. I don't just get out of bed. I can jump. I have energy. I have a healthy body. I have a daughter and family. I have loved ones. I have an amazing man in my life. I have spirituality. I'm connected to source. I have all the self-awareness. I have all these solutions. Thanks to my journey in self-development that I can help people with all these tools in my back pocket. Where when I see someone in need, I can help them and point them in the right direction. I have all these beautiful travel locations all around me. I have all these opportunities in just my own backyard. For years, I used to hate Vegas. Like, really, this place is, just doesn't resonate with my soul. But I was on looking at the parts that does resonate with my soul, which was, for example, that overlook in the mountain, one of my favorite places. I get to laugh and have joyful times. I have relationships. I have family. I have a massive, big family. Hello. Holy crap. I have an abundance of churches to choose from around me. I have abundance of business opportunities I can tap into. Oh man, the list just kept going and going. I have unconditional love for myself and for others. I am very sensual. I have boldness in my body. I'm bold and brave. I've got some lady balls hidden under there. And all kinds of wonder, wonderful things. I want you to look at your own skill set. I'm an intuitive. I have all these things and I'm like, gosh, the list just kept going and going. And then I flip the page and I'm like focused on on the lack and you can see how very little it is. And most of it's repeating the same thing. And I was like, really, Carrie, you have so much that money can't even buy so much. And you do too. You have so many things you can't even put a dollar sign next to. Am I right? You can't put a dollar sign in health. That's priceless. If you don't believe me, 
you will after a disease or some type of health scare shows up in your life, which isn't the fun way to learn that and appreciate your health. You have love, you have health, you have happiness. You live in America. If you live in the U.S., shush. You have so much opportunity around you. It's not even funny. Don't even get me started on that. But tap into your source, your higher self. Sit and get quiet in God's green, beautiful earth. Anywhere is gorgeous. Whatever lights your lights you up. It could be a city skyline. With me, it was the mountains and nature. I'm a nature girl. It's my church. Get your pretty pens out. Start writing all the abundant things you have. And you'll look and go, holy cow, this is everything money can't even buy. This is life experience. I can't buy a great family. I could buy an amazing daughter. I had to help raise her. I get to love on her and grow that plant every day with my own love and light. So... When you're focusing on that one thing you think you lack, or you're focusing on the lack of something or scarcity, I want you to shift your mindset to abundance, go crazy like I did, and start writing it out. Honestly, an hour went by and I could have kept going. You have an abundant life already. Abundance creates and attracts more abundance. That abundant mindset is going to pull more abundance towards you. And with that love and light message to you today, my friends, Go get your homework assignment done. Report back to me. Comment, like, share. Send this to somebody that you know is also focusing on scarcity and lack. Give me your feedback. I'd love to hear how this is shifting and changing your life as well. Big hugs. Big love. Mwah.